Hi guys, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Lauren and I have a clothing line called Lauren Michelle. And sometimes I come on YouTube and I make videos about my tips and tricks and experiences. Right now we're getting ready to move and we've kind of turned it into a little bit of an adventure, which means that my business is coming with me and it also means that I'm going completely mobile and that I'm gonna be running my business right here out of this Class C RV, at least until we find our next home base. If you are not new here, welcome back. Please make sure that you guys are all subscribed so that you get notified the next time I post a new chapter in this super fun journey we're going on. I wanna to talk today about laundry and hard water. If you're lucky enough to not know what that is, it's basically when your municipal water has really high amounts of magnesium and calcium in it. So sometimes you might notice when you shower, your skin is really dry. When you wash dishes, there's maybe a little film on it. Or when you wash your clothes, they appear really worn or not very soft. You might have hard water. If you're actually curious about your water, you can actually pick up some inexpensive testing strips online and you can find out exactly how hard your water really is. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what doing laundry right here in the RV looks like. Then after that, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk a little bit about hard water in your RV. And then I'm gonna talk about how hard water and care instructions affect you as a fashion designer or if you're selling anything that's made out of fabric. Right here, I'm gonna actually put the washing machine in this little space right here. And that way it'll be easier for me to, when it's full, to go ahead and uh, put the water right down that drain into the gray tank. Okay, we're all full, so for the sake of measurement, I'm gonna do a short sleeve t-shirt. I'm going to wash two workout tank tops. And let's see, how about we throw in, I have a kind of thin workout pullover. We'll go ahead and throw them in and see what happens. Okay, so I went in and threw in a few more things. And if you can see, we're right there, right below the fill line. I don't wanna overflow this. I mean, these clothes are actually pretty dirty because I worked out in them. But I did throw in a few more t-shirts and like a sports bra and one more pullover. So um, I'm gonna put just a little bit of soap in here. I read a lot of reviews where people were having trouble putting too much soap in it. So I'm just gonna use a little bit. And I set it for 15 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unhook this. I'm just gonna kind of put that right there so it's near the drain. And I'm gonna put this on drain. You can hear it, you can see it. So all the water's going there. Not too dirty, not too shameful. <laughs> okay, so the water drained out. I think it did a decent job of draining out. I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm gonna hook it right back on there. And then I'm gonna close this again. We're gonna take this off of drain. I'm gonna put it back on normal. I'm gonna refill this again with the hose and we're gonna rinse it. Okay, so the rinse cycle is completed. We've drained and I'm putting everything except for just a couple of things. I don't, really don't wanna overfill this. Um, I didn't put the two pullover, like workout pullovers. I left those in here. Um, so I'm gonna start the spin cycle. It comes with this little basket that goes on top just to keep everything down. Close that. And let's do spin timer. Five minutes. And I left the drain hose open this whole time so all the water can come out. Okay, so the spin cycle is done. I pulled the little basket out because it's hard to do with one hand. So I already did that. And these feel like almost dry, they're like slightly damp. But this thing did an awesome job. I mean, I know you can't really tell very well from the video. You can't reach there and touch it, but 
these are pretty dry and it's a warm sunny day out so these should dry on my little rack like super super quick okay so why should you care if you're a designer about something as boring as laundry and hard water right well whenever i create a new garment it's really important to me that i test out all the fabrics before that garment is created and actually sent to a customer and you really want to make sure that when you put care instructions inside the garment that the customer is actually able to follow those care instructions without degrading the garment one of the best compliments that i get on my clothes sometimes is that they wash well so that means that I'm providing the kind of quality to the customer that they're gonna to wanna to reach for that garment over and over again, and that it's gonna survive them for many years, right? I read that something close to 85% of households in America actually have hard water. So you wanna make sure that the quality that you're providing is gonna survive those conditions. So you have to put yourself in the shoes of the customer. The customer is not a designer. Usually the customer is not some sort of textile guru. All they're gonna know is they bought your garment and a few washes later, it was ready for Goodwill. And actually, even in some cases where the water is really hard, not only will it look worn and dingy, but you'll actually end up getting holes in the item. All right, so what can we do to combat having hard water? So here in the RV, we actually installed a portable water softener that we have on the water line out there in addition to the filter. So not only does it help make showering more pleasant so that you're not all dry and crusty when you come out, but it also extends the life of our clothing quite a bit. And I've actually heard a lot of people talk about how some of the hard water in certain places can build up in your pipes and do a little bit of damage long term to um, some of the systems in your RV. So the water here was so hard that we were actually getting uh, mineral deposits on the shower head and in some of the aerators. So we had to actually soak some stuff in white vinegar in order to get it clean so it came off but that's just a representation of really how hard the water is right here also when you purchase fabric from a supplier be sure to ask if the fabric has any special finishes or treatments a lot of times those will help protect the fabric and it will really extend the life of your garment just by having those built in if you are working with a fabric sales rep, they should know or they should be able to find out for you. No matter what they tell you, you need to always test your fabrics. I will wash it, take a picture, wash it, take a picture so that I know what it looks like after one wash and I know what it looks like after 10 washes so I can be really sure of the quality of the garment or item that I'm providing to my customer. And if the fabric you chose is not gonna hold up, you wanna find out because you did the work, not because an unsatisfied customer told you that it doesn't hold up. And after you wash it a couple times, if you find out it's not great, you may wanna switch what you were gonna make that garment out of. While laundry is not the most exciting topic, it's something that I do wanna talk about because not only RV-wise are we gonna be traveling to different places and we're gonna be experiencing different water qualities, it's really important for me in order to test out fabrics as I make sales from the road. I make items and I ship them all over the country. So I wanna make sure that those garments last my customers a really long time. I wanna make sure that I'm choosing the right fabrics with the right finishes and that I'm really taking care instructions and water quality into consideration when I'm making those items. So I hope that this was helpful for you, whether you're an RVer and you're excited and gearing up for the summer and hard water was a concern for you. I'm gonna post a link down below to the water softener that we purchased and also to the washing machine that I used earlier in the video. I also hope that this was really helpful for you if you're a fashion designer or if you just make items where you use fabric and you are really concerned about making sure that you're passing along a long lasting quality item or garment to your customer. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the meantime, be kind, be creative.